Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther and I'm gonna show you how to use the WIT tool. The WIT, the, the WIT, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not American, but uh, yeah, uh, this is, it's a really interesting tool. So we're gonna use it on this kitty cat. We're gonna remake it, re-vectorize it, some of the forms of the cat. So yeah, before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with the, with the daily updates. So. Uh, the width tool, let's see the width tool. You gotta, I gotta press Shift plus W because that's the shortcut. I don't know where the hell is that tool, so I just highlight it. You got the width tool, Shift plus W is right this thing right here. This is basically uh, adjusts um, the lines. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna present you now and later on I'm gonna do it on the cat. So if you wanna know exactly right now how it's done, um, then I'm gonna show you and if you want to stick you know to the cat tutorial too then you know you can do that too uh, so with the pen tool I created this line uh, I'm gonna add a stroke color let's do it with gray and this is the line right now it's like thin it's in the same width you know so we're going to select the width tool, Shift plus W, or go and here, go here and select it. And as you can see, when I pull the mouse and the mouse, uh, I mean the arrow, the little arrow has a wave under it. And if I pull here, it creates another dot. And if I click on it and pull downwards, it's going to make the line wider, you know. Uh, this is also used a lot, you know, in illustrations. So that's what I want to show you also. Uh, this is here is like more wider. This area is like more thinner. I can make this area also more thicker. Uh, yeah, so basically this is what it does. Um, you also can bring this, you know, in different zones. See that? Until here to the next anchor point. And you need to make sure that it's consistent. You know, here in this area, it's not consistent anymore. You see a weird spot in there. So you need to make it nice as possible. And yeah, this is the width tool. I also wanted to show you basically on the cat because uh, you know there there was like uh, these logo designs back in the days. It was a trend, you know, when uh, you created only the outline of the of the logo and you modified it with the width tool so it was like this um it, it created mainly the shadowy part and the weight you know with those lines it's really interesting it's difficult to describe but i'm gonna show you so i got this cat i'm gonna bring down the opacity here to somewhere around i don't know 30 ish I'm gonna go to the layers and uh, lock it and then create here a new layer. So on this layer, we can draw. You also can, uh, you know, download a cat or a dog or whatever you would like. Um, yeah, right now I should focus basically on like few lines, the outlines and the eyes and maybe the mouth. So I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna click on the stroke. I'm gonna actually select the black all right and make it quickly actually I have something snap to pixels I don't want that all right let's just do this pretty quickly there you go I clicked Should I make it like... So the main idea, I'm trying to reduce the details on the cat. Not... So not complicated too much. It's gonna be even more simplified here. Uh, we was learning actually this stuff uh, in university. It was called, you know, we needed to find out the power line of the animal or the cat. I don't know if that's the right 
term to use it. I, I can remember like how the professor told us, like, was it the power line or something like that? But the main idea is what, like, a, um, a motion line. I don't know. For example, this here, when it's uh, here is the weight of the cat. So that was the kind of stuff we were searching for there. And those areas got to be more thicker. The lighter areas where the cat didn't put uh, his weight or its weight, then that, that's going to be the thinner area. I'm going to show you. It's like, it's really logical because uh, in design, you're trying to find the balance and trying to search for uh, weight distribution, you know, the same way as in reality. So, um, okay, this should go somewhere around here only. I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna continue from here. Okay, and the little kitty should be somewhere around here. Look at that. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more details here on here, on its face. And it's going to go somewhere around here. Is that good? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to simplify it a little more. And the face is going to be somewhere around here. I mean, the mouth area at least. As you, as you can see, the angle is 120 degrees and it's fixated there which is good if you know how to do it then click here somewhere in the right corner and i'm going to show you hopefully uh, i'm going to check this uh, tutorial and add there the detail like how to you know do that stuff okay we got uh, the outlines i'm going to bring this actually somewhere around here Started, it started to look like kind of interesting, kind of weird, you know, like, uh, nah, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Let me see, let's just go further a little, further a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm trying to show you the thing. Okay, started to look somewhat, somewhat. Same way I'm gonna do here with the eyes. Uh, as you can see, the eyes are going like this and I won't connect with them. I'm just gonna leave it somewhere around here. I'm gonna adjust it then later. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's begin. I actually know, let's make the nose also. I'm gonna make it with uh, fill color. I'm gonna reflect that. Good. Okay, first thing I'm gonna use the eyes. Oh my god, we still need something in the eyes. So to create that eye, I'm gonna use the square, press shift plus alt, shift plus x, and then select A for the direct selection tool, pull these like this and unite them if you don't know where is the pathfinder the unite go to windows select pathfinder now scale this down press and hold shift and just pull this here we got an eye um okay so with tool i'm gonna press shift plus actually select it press shift plus w or go here to select the width tool and i'm gonna make this well, not here. Make sure not to create it here because it's gonna make this stuff and it's not good. Make sure to do it here, okay? I'm gonna go and make this wide. Then here, make this... Uh, actually, this is good. I'm gonna make this area more thinner. I think, I don't know. Let me make this area actually. also make this wider something like this nope okay I think we got it I think we got it 
Okay, here I don't want to do a big deal, so I gotta go here to the stroke, I gotta go to the profile and select this. And it just you know, makes it automatically. I don't know, it's not in the tutorial what I'm doing, but I'm gonna show you here. Uh, press Shift plus W, I'm gonna expand here to be really wide. And you can see the rest is getting, uh, you know, so this area where the tail is getting, you know, it's not that heavy. So the, all the weight distribution is here in the cat here in this area going to get more thicker and this here going to be more thinner. And this should work something like that after going after weight distribution and, uh, you know, the same thing. I mean, where the same laws from physics basically apply here, you know, in, in graphic design or something like that. You need to find out the balance and of course like you try to mimic the uh, shadows as well so let's say um, the Sun is you know is coming from here so these lines gonna be more thinner and these guy lines gonna be more thicker because this is the shadow area basically You're gonna say this guy's crazy. He doesn't. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, or something like that. But this is the actual weird truth, man. We're gonna make this. You know, something like this. Maybe this is too thin. Also, let's not create hairlines because that's not good either. I'm gonna bring this here in the zone. Add some thickness, make this thin. Ah, okay. Something like that. Let me see what I what I did. I just oh actually no, I just I, I'm gonna reflect these. Press ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho oh. So this is the O oh, the reflect tool. Press and hold Alt click here in the center between the eyes and click vertical click copy and we got the second eye look at this dude man started to look kind of weird but uh, I gotta create a copy to see uh, actually I won't create a copy I just I will just uh, on uh, put on this thing on toggle visibility so I can see so as you can see, it created some uh, shadows here. It, it feels like it's shadows. It feels like it's more heavy in this zone and more light on this area. And this is how basically it should be. I don't know, like I won't create another um, whatever, a leg or something, but this thing kind of looks weird. So I probably should put another leg. I don't know, man. Um, yeah, probably I'm gonna highlight with pen tool this that is basically a tail, but well, not with strokes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, something like that. Something like that. I don't know, man. But yeah, you get the main idea, you get the main point. It's not perfect, but this is what we can do in a short video. I might come up with a new tutorial too, I don't know. You tell me. I'm just gonna switch this to this profile. Bring this up a little. Make this thicker. So yeah, mostly when you create like illustrations, you're gonna use this a little bit more often, but it depends on what it, what techniques are you using there as well. Thinking to make the eyes a little bit more wider, you know. But yeah, it's a cat. We're talking about a cat. I think I'm gonna make this shorter. You can play around with this all day until you get bored. But yeah, this is it. 
Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Did I said that already? Yeah, I did. So yeah, have a great day. Bye bye.